So now we're ready to complete the overhaul of the brake assembly. Going to finish cleaning. This is the cleaning the brake housing. And uh, it's come out of the dip tank now, sat in the dip tank for quite a while. There's an O-ring, and I'm going to put a little bit of lubricant on the O-ring. This is a little bit of grease. This is DC4, I think, that's uh, recommended by uh, Parker Cleveland. Uh, you can also use, a, there, there's actually a, another one, a lube that they call out, seal lube. Here I've got the piston, I'm cleaning it. It came out of the tank and it looks really good. I'm going to look at the O-ring groove. I'm going to make sure there's no nicks, scratches, galls, like that. Now I'm ready to put the O-ring on it. So I grab my dental pick uh, O-ring tool and I'm going to start the O-ring in the groove, hold it with my hands, and then I'm going to kind of gently tug and pull that around, kind of fumbly fingers this morning. And I've got the O-ring on there and it's got a nice lube on it, looks really nice. Next I'm going to take a little bit of brake fluid. This is 5606 and I poured it in the cavity here with my pinky finger I'm kind of uh, lubricating the walls of the of the um, housing, brake housing. The piston goes in with the short land uh, towards the inside and you can look at the manual to tell you that. Here we put on the inner lining, the brake lining pad on the inner and all we have left then is the outer. Now I'm just going to tack this in place with a bolt because when we, we're going to put this back on the axle of the airplane and the wheel's going to have to go on. So this is that outer shoe, that outer brake lining is going to have to come back off. So here we have overhauled the Cleveland brake assembly.